back to the Unmasked Podcast. Two years in the making. We had a first episode, Thick Cheeks over here. Kind of constantly uh, was asking me on my podcasts and my live streams and shit like that. Where's the Unmasked Podcast? And I'm like, dude, hit me up with the time and date. And then we'll do it. And then you didn't. But we're finally here after two freaking years. But here we are. So the question of the day is going to be, Battle Royale games, is it affecting the game industry for the better or for the worse? I want to have a conversation. We're all gamers here. So, um, everybody introduce yourselves and we'll start the topic. Travis, nice to meet you. Hey, what's up? I'm Will. I'm Lamas. That's all I can say, unless you want to talk about my name and how close it is to Lamas. <laughs> <laughs> there was a previous recording, That's that was a whole different thing, but we'll talk about that later. It's been maybe. a long night. That's a whole ass. That was a fucking mile and a half ago. It was just, they didn't that, need to know that. There was a left turn on, like, Buttfuck Street. We're, yeah, we, we're, we, we're, we're, we're on tit, like, road right now. I don't even know where the fuck we're at, but, um... We're down shit creek paddle with it. No, we're down I'll shit I'll put it this way. It's been it's rough. Alcohol. It's been rough. No, it's not alcohol. Don't 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 okay. demonetize me. Don't attack me. Don't do it. Well, for you two, it ain't. For us, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so, um, let's get to the topic at hand. So, um, some, some of the more popular battle royales that are out today. Okay, we have, uh, Fortnite, obviously, PUBG, and most recently, a game that I really do like is Apex Legends, which is a combination between... Uh, Overwatch, kind of. I uh, tried but, that. Uh, yeah, it's like it's like Call of Duty, Overwatch with a touch of um, uh, Rainbow Six Siege, a touch. I but, tried that. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty fun game. But um, I want to hear your guys' opinions on the battle royale scene and everybody trying to attack it. Do you think it's just another trend, or do you think it's actually leading to something much better, or do you think it'll take over? What What, what are your opinions, guys? I think it should die. <laughs> That, 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 that's nice. Thank you. Uh, thanks for the amazing the put. Travis, how about you? Because you know, I you know you're not the biggest fan of either PUBG or Fortnite, the two biggest competitions in uh, the game. It's like, it's like adding into also another game that I think that was brought up. That it was like a game, but then they saw, wait a minute, PUBG just made how much money? Fortnite made how much money? Shit. Here's Blackout. Literally, that's all. That's that's all that uh, Call of Duty. Because they saw that's, that's Activision though. So yeah, that's Activision. See, the thing is with that, they didn't do it because they thought it would uh, like there was something that they could do with it. They were just like, oh, Fortnite made a fuck ton of money. Um, now, I do like battle royale games. I do because especially especially in the Call of Duty style esque. Even though I don't want to spend sixty bucks for a game that has no story mode, that's just literally zombies and uh. uh Battle Royale. Royale. So if I can play Battle Royale for free when it comes to Fortnite, PUBG, or Apex Legends, why am I going to spend 60 bucks on a fucking game that's just zombies and that? No thank you. But beside the point, um, what was I, what was I going at? I totally lost my fucking train. You were talking about Battle Royales. Yeah, but I, no shit. <laughs> like, you didn't even let me finish, I think, but okay. I think another addition to it on what you were saying and before you lost your train of thought was like the whole thing with Call of Duty. I think they realized from A, B, C, and D's opinion, you fucked up the story. And I think they took it as, if we put another story out, we're just going to piss people off even worse. So we take the story and act like it finished itself in the last one, and put it into Battle Royale, where it has no point in the game besides, oh, well maybe we can make some extra money if we put it into the game. That's the only reason that was added. But, um, yeah, I totally, I totally agree. Um, there was no story put in. That was the biggest problem. See, if you're going to spend $60 on a video game, there's got to be content in there. It can't just be zombies and battle royale. Listen, I, I didn't mind zombies when it first came out, but nowadays it's the most mind numbing video game ever. Like I played black ops three zombies. I made it to wave 42 and I felt like I lost brain cells. Like I, th- I felt it's like it's just uh, the same stuff. It's, over it's, it's just and recycled. Over and yeah, over again. yeah, but that's and like a lot of games now, though. I know, but the problem is like, at least at least with battle royales, you can not, you don't have to like the genre, you don't. But you can say this: you it requires thought and tactics. There's it's a different gameplay every time you pick up the controller, too. One time I'll land in the house, pick up the shotgun, and blow everybody's brains out as fast as I can. The next game, I'll find a sniper rifle and hide on the ridge and not kill one person till the last person. Yeah. It's a different game strategy every game. And then there's those times when you just hop on down and you get instantly bumped. 
But see, like, that's the thing why I like Battle Royale, because it makes you think. Each strategy, like, think of this, like, um, my one buddy used to be a big uh, fighting game fan, so that's why I always think of this logic. Fighting games, um, based off a of player style and character, there's different ways to approach it. Now, think of it like that, but a massive, expansive map with the, the blessings of RNG that could be on your side or against your side. Like, I, one game when I was playing Fortnite, I found nothing but fucking snipers. And I'm like... Are you shitting me? I need a shotgun. I need an AR. I found none of that. So it's always based on RNG. So like there's always, it could be a different game, but when you play it religiously after a certain period of time, it will get boring. But for a while, it's really, really, really fun because you can get better. You can start getting kills and stuff like that. With Apex Legends, I'm, I'm getting pretty good at the game and it's a lot of fun. And yet again, there's different tactics because you got to figure out how is your enemy going to play? What character are they using? How do I attack the situation from based off a of map, rotations, and all that stuff? It's a fun thinking game. And some people just don't like that. Some people just like the mind-numbing shit that is zombies. And I fucking hate that. You trying to say something against me, huh? Probably. Huh? I will say I also... I play Call of Duty for the zombies. Is there a problem? Uh, yeah, for $60 just a zombies game? I, I'll hey, say... Hey, the story zombies is better than the actual campaign story. I mean... Multiplayer is fucked, so I mean... You go in and you just get... <laughs> Trash talk don't, don't. by some twelve year old that tells me he's gonna fuck my mom. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it's I met plenty fun. of those. It's not fun anymore. Every time I get a kill, oh, I'm gonna fuck your mom. My mom will be pregnant by now. Christ. <laughs> no, what's fucked is um the reason why I hate Call of Duty so much. It's the main reason because they advertise for their multiplayer. Now here's my thing, for a game that re- re- rewards spawn camping, just running shotgun. No thought behind it. That that doesn't that doesn't sit well for me because I can literally get spawned in five times and not even get a chance to run because I get fucking shot because those spawn campers just it's not fun. There's no they reward those players and it's those people that have like six hundred uh, a six hundred KD ratio because they just literally find one little spot in the map and they're like okay I'm untouchable unless they throw a grenade but when which case I can move two steps to the right. In Battle Royale, if you try to fucking camp, guess what? You're either getting sniped, or someone's going to sneak up behind you, and then you're fucked. Because guess what? There's no rewarding in that shit. Or the circle's going to get you. <laughs> what? Or, said, or the circle's going to get you. Or, the, yeah, the circle's going to get you. And that's the circle. I mean, I mostly all the time. Every single people. game has the circle. What circle is the best? Now, if you were to pick four games out of the four games, Fortnite... PUBG, Blackout, Apex. What's the best circle? You well, the, the problem is they're, they're, they work the exact same way. When it comes to a battle royale game, there's, you have to have the circle mechanic, and they all work the exact same way. Because you, like the maps are so expansive, especially in Fortnite. It's you know, like running from, let's say, the bottom right corner of the map, which is uh, Paradise Palms, to run all the way to Junk Junction, which is like boom and boom. That will take, that's like, from just running distance, that's a 10-minute game right there, just running. That's 10 minutes running straight without picking up guns or anything like that. Then finally, when you get to the circle, you're going to get doned by some dude. Oh, it's happened to me before, and that's when I'm like, I'm taking a break. Um, but they've added mechanics to fuck you less when it comes to circle. But um, it's difficult, especially, like I said, they're basically the same, same exact way. I guess if I'm going to have to say... I haven't played PUBG because it didn't come on PS4 until like a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago. So I'd never played that. Yeah. And um, Fortnite, I play all the time. And then Apex Legends. I'm going to have to say, probably just based off of whatever, Apex Legends has the slight advantage because when the circle's on the other side of the fucking map, I don't feel like I'm totally screwed. When It'll it, actually give you enough time to Yeah, no, Yeah, because there's thing. a little bit more of a time bump um, in there. There's, they give you an extra 30 seconds on the first circle. So when I was like on the bottom left corner of the map and the circle was far right, top right as possible, I'm like, oh, I still have time to loot. I don't have to fucking run right now. So on that standard, Apex Legends is better. Um, have you, what about you guys? What all Battle Royals have you played? Blackout, Fortnite, PUBG. I've played them all. Say, well, I not only all played... of them, but the pop, most popular ones. Yeah. So I only played Blackout, Fortnite, and Apex. Okay, um, since Apex is actually the big game of today, of like right now, especially because 10 million downloads in 72 hours. That's, that's, a, it's that's a good incredible, game. That's incredible, especially for a game that had no marketing until like a week prior because some things were leaked out. You know why they didn't want to 
say anything about or market this, first off, EA. EA is getting a lot of shit recently for good reason because they're fucking oh, yeah. dumb. They're yeah. dumb. Putting loot crates, loot crates in there like pay to win bullshit. Yeah, dumb. So EA's got a target on their back, and they funded the fucking game, even though the game's made by Respawn. Respawn has a great track record. I don't know too much about them, but I heard nothing but good things about them. But just EA being involved. <laughs> yeah. It's so true. and um, Titanfall. They were supposed to be making a Titanfall three. EA and Respawn said that yeah, they're making Titanfall three, but in reality, they were making this game. They were making uh, Apex Legends. So that was not going to sit well with Titanfall fans. And yet again, now it's becoming a popular thing to shit on Battle Royale games. So that was another target on their back. So the way that Respawn treated the situation and got 10 million downloads in 72 hours is incredible. Now, recently, I was playing, uh, when you called me to come here today, they had a, they, their servers crashed because it's a brand new game, set 10 million players, insane. So you're going to have bugs. But the second I, I found out there was an issue, I looked at my phone because my phone vibrated. It was it was Apex Legends uh, Respawn Entertainment responding to the situation already. The second I felt the problem, they're like, yeah, we're experiencing all technical difficulties on all platforms. We're working on it. And uh, they were responding to all the players that were, were uh, tweeting out like, yo, guys, uh, just how long do you think it's going to take? They're like, we're not sure it's going to take between uh, 15 minutes to probably like an hour and a half, but we'll keep you updated. The, the respawn time is incredible and shows you that they're passionate about their craft. So they re, the way they treated the situation in general is fascinating. It's like if they missed one mark, one mark, it would have been consumed by Fortnite. And Fortnite mm-hmm. consumes a lot of the Battle Royale games because it's the big thing. But this game did something that most uh, Battle Royale games didn't do. It beat Fortnite. It bamboozled them. Yeah. If you look at the Twitch stats, the day that the day after Apex came out, 80 million play, 80,000 players were playing Fortnite. 250,000 players were playing Apex Legends on the second day it came out. On the second day. That's insanity. Never happened before. Never been a bamboozle. It's been beaten before, but that's when it was like a slow week and maybe someone, the streamers would be on League of Legends or something like that, but not by a Battle Royale game. So what are your thoughts on uh, Apex Legends since all of you seem to play it? Have played I've it? never played it. Oh, you it. haven't played it, but uh, what are, do you, have you seen some stuff on it yet or no? I haven't heard of it till you guys talked about it. I mean, it we could try after a little, though. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a fun free game. We'll definitely show you around. If you don't like it, it's not your it's not your style. Is it um, what is it? What platform? Is it it's all. on all except for Switch. Really? Yeah, PC, PS4, Xbox. See, that's one thing that Apex Legends also did better than um than uh PUBG. PUBG, PC, and Xbox, but not PlayStation. You just lost five hundred thousand players right then and there. That doesn't seem like a lot, but it's enough to make a difference. That's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of money you just messed out on. Cause I, if, listen, if Fortnite, the day Fortnite came out was also when PUBG was also the, the talk of the town. I would have played PUBG, but I'm like, I can't. When I was getting stressed out on Fortnite, I was like, oh, I wish I could play PUBG. But guess what? They ruined that chance by fucking that up. Well, I mean, there, and there's a lot of greed that goes into that. Like, hey... Like, Microsoft would go, probably want the PUBG, and was like, hey, you want this $300 million? Just publish it on they, our console first. I don't think that, they would never spend $300 million. Well, not $300 million, but like, like, you know what I mean, no, it's like, a lot of money. It doesn't matter, because, like, that's, because um, that doesn't explain why it's available, like, all these other uh, Battle Royales are available on all consoles, or no, on all platforms. Like, see, the thing is, I, I'm a I'm you guys know I'm a PlayStation player, but a couple months ago there was a whole controversy with the whole um, Sony is the best platforming thing, so they didn't want cross platforming. Microsoft themselves was like, "What the fuck? Come on, let them cross play with Xbox and all that shit." Yeah, that they were willing stupid. to cross platform, so it wasn't Microsoft; it was Sony. So it's not like Microsoft is trying to be stingy assholes, saying, "Oh, if they want to play PUBG, they got to come on our servers." So. If they're willing to work with Sony when Sony's not willing to work with them, that shows some level of confidence in themselves saying that, listen, this rivalry is always going to be a thing until one of us crashes and burns, which is probably going to be Sony because after the Sony leaks and shit like that a couple they're years back. They're making multiple mistakes. Yeah, yeah, they're making mistakes. The only thing that's keeping them afloat is fucking Spider-Man. Movie. Yeah, the emoji. <laughs> I mean, like, they're, they're a good company. They, they just make a lot of mistakes. So, um, especially with the whole Fortnite thing. So... I don't think it was that. 
But it's just I think it's just PUBG saying like, listen, we we don't have that kind of money to distribute it out to that. But um, whatever the reason being, they messed up, and uh, now they decided to wait a year to fix that issue. And then by that time, I was like, I'm already into Fortnite. I don't have time to learn uh, PUBG and all that shit because I learned how to build, I learned how to shoot, and all that stuff. Anyway, moving on. on. Um, so let's talk about let's talk about a little bit about Fortnite right now. Um, what is your guys' oh. thoughts on the game itself and how it's holding up as a game? I thought it was a pretty good game. In the beginning, I'm more of the uh, not not too much hardcore, but more of a uh, realism sort of person. And I I I took um, Fortnite in the beginning because uh, well I, I play on Xbox, and uh, I was like, okay, PUBG is coming out pretty soon. I'd rather be playing that, so I'll play Fortnite for a little bit. And, uh, I got playing it, and, well, the same stuff kept occurring for me. I'd drop in an area, I'd run through it 30 miles, and then die. Or, I, next game, okay, whatever, fluke game. i drop down, get instantly killed into a new game. i I drop down, i get really good stu- stuff, get domed. That stuff really pisses me off. But that that's problems within the Battle, uh, Royale. Battle Royales in general. That's just how they play. Yeah, at that point, that's when you decide, okay, are you willing to commit the time to actually get good at the game? Or are you just going to, like, you, so, like... Get good, scrub. You get good, scrub. Seriously, like, <laughs> like, when Tilted Towers first came out, I'm like, I'm not that good at the game. Tilted Towers I, I, is, like, I, the I, I kept playing Tilted Towers for, like, like no joke, for three days straight. Every time I play the video game, my friend's like, you want to play? I'm like, unless you want to go Tilted Towers every game, no. And then I landed Tilted Towers, and I got better at the game. Then I missed a couple days of playing the video game, and guess what? Everyone fucking started bodying me because I missed those days. And it's a very fast-growing game, especially when streamers are giving them the constant day-to-day updates. Like, oh, there's this new gun that came out. Here's the new meta of the game. What can you do and shit like that? Here's Sometimes, this. Here's that. Uh, here's this. This will change like the, the double game. shotgun change, strategy. Yeah. yeah, like when the shotgun meta uh, was ruined after like between season three and four, basically being able to one-shot people pretty easily. After that meta was destroyed and it became an SMG meta, that's when I started fucking sucking. Because I was a shotgun player, not a SMG player. And, um, yeah, so I, I started adapting. I started getting good again. But it's 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 a difficult game. What about you, Lamas? What did you think about the game? Uh, I think it's okay. I usually play it just for the funny stuff that can happen. Oh, there's some stupid shit you just can do. Just the emotes are layers to watch. The characters to create are f- okay. Like the dancing and shit. The dancing's hilarious with some of the things, though. Yeah. You had Thanos for an event dancing, doing the emotes. When would you ever see that? Oh, yeah. Um, when him, when I, I was Thanos one time, I did take the L. It was the most triggering <laughs> thing. Like, I won, I won a game Thanos with Thanos, and I started the taking L. the L. Someone yeah. just dressed up as Spider-Man. Take the L. Oh, my God. It did corrupt our youth, too. Because now all those little sons of bitches. Oh, are gosh. It's not even just dances. youth. Adults oh, are doing it as well. Don't get... Dude, and one of the, as dumb as that is, there's something even dumber. So, um, a lot of dances are getting copyrighted, like by Fortnite. I'm like, listen, Fortnite is a multi-billion-dollar company now. Epic Games. I don't think they ha- they are that dumb to bring in a dance and just not have any contracts involved and stuff like that. But they're you not, can't have the contract for a dance. You no, know, just like I say, oh, people. how how much are you gonna pay me to put my dance in there? Like. The default dance. This is what started the entire controversy. The default dance. Um, that was all. That was from a show. Yeah, it was basically. from this show from Scrubs or something like that. It was like it was that. Like some, uh, this the guy did a default dance, and he, it was not a choreographed dance. It was an improv dance. The guy makes a tweet saying that I don't know Fortnite. This is after like almost a year. It's been out like a year and a half. He says I don't know Fortnite. I feel like I should take you to court because you did my da- did my dance without my permission. I'm like, it wasn't choreographed. It, you didn't, you know, you didn't trademark it or anything like that. So therefore, it's not a dance. It's just a movement you did. Did did can I sue somebody for doing a handshake to the first person who ever did a handshake? No, you can't. It's a body motion until you choreograph it and then you start selling it. You can't. It's just so that, an attempt to get money. Yeah, it's an attempt to get money. But that started a fucking wave. Of, uh, of things. Like, you know, the, the, the dumbest emote, but like, it's the most popular in Fortnite, flossing. 
Like, yeah. the, 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 whatever the fuck it is. I uh, can't do that shit. But, yeah. But no, I took it from that one little kid. That yeah, so that one There's kid. a lot of dentists are happy out there because of that dance name. <laughs> but, uh, Attention you, to but boss. you all know the dance, right? Yeah. But, like, so that kid, his parents, everyone thinks it was his parents, clearly. But, like, after the kid did it and he got into the video game... Uh, he he threatened to sue Fortnite. He's like, I'm gonna sue you because uh, of the dance. Can. I'm like, so you, it I'm has like, to be first, parents. yeah. I'm like, you can't because yet again, you didn't choreograph it. It's just something you did, and um, there, there's no reason behind it. <clears throat> you didn't make money off of it and whatnot, and it, it's just something yet again to get money because Fortnite's a popular thing. And why would you sue them after it's been in the shop four times over? It's, if it's been in the shop four times mm-hmm. over, you should have should have said something day one. This is not okay. Why wait until the game's been out for over a year and a half? Because they can see the game's doing yeah, well. Yeah, this all this all this start not only after the default dance thing happened, after a, uh, the Fortnite numbers came out about how much money they earned in one year. That's when people started threatening to sue. And then you got the uh, Orange Justice dance, a very spazzy dance, like the, eh, eh, whatever. But yeah, Orange Justice. Yet again, not a dance he created, a competition that he entered. So this is a willingly participant. He enters a competition, like get into a dance, have your dance into the game. And now he's being, according to the mom, being bullied, cyber bullied by everybody and shit like that. Now the mom wants to sue uh, Epic Games for damages and uh, destroy and shit like that, whatever. I'm like, first off, it's your fault because he can't, he, he's under he's under 18. So you had to give him permission. You as a parent understand the circumstances of entering a competition that you have that huge possibility of getting bullied. If yeah. I enter a dance competition and won and people harass me, I'm like, well, it was my decision. Tough shit. And it's like this video. Yeah. We're all getting shit for this video. Oh, 100%. <laughs> <But> like, <laughs> We're all getting bullied for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. could try. But like... So yeah, they try to sue, and as I, he pulls a switchblade, <laughs> they can try. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it's been coming a popular thing to sue Fortnite just because it's a big thing and stuff like that. But um, I'll tell you this: to change the subject really quick, what are your thoughts on the whole thing about how big Fortnite got? Did you expect it? Did you expect it to last this long? Like, as I, I gave it to the end of 2018. I gave it to, like, November 2018. And I was like, oh, it's going to die then. It lasts a pass that. What were your initial expectations versus what it is today? I personally thought, okay, yeah, it's a game. It's like any other game. Tried something different. And, uh, but once these streamers and all them started to, like, really pick up the game, and they, of course, like, uh, I, I don't know who, uh, Ninja, Ninja, yeah, that dude, like, you know, how they, he has all his crowd and all that, yeah. I, I don't know, like, uh, that disrespect guy, Dr. Disrespect, yeah, yeah. and I don't know what the Dr. Lupo, uh, yeah, all, 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 just the, and then people in general, they have a wide audience, probably of kids, most and, of them are kids, yeah. Yeah, and that's probably what gave Fortnite that really, really, really big boom. Because, well, one, it was free. Yeah. And it was on all platforms. And, um, I'm losing my train of thought. It was on all platforms, and it was uh, cartoony. I don't think it is one because it was cartoony. I think what made it win, because Apex Legends, 10 million downloads, and... In 72 hours and it's not a cartoony game it's got some cartoony stuff in there because you can there's a character that can th- go through portals but I, what I think what made it stick is the fact that there's some goofy elements in there like like I know we had a conversation about this a couple of months ago being able to rocket ride people there's some <laughs> there's some there's some meme stuff in there like there was a grappler that looked like a fucking plunger uh, I think it, uh, Battle Royals will eventually die down but it will be there for um ever it's going to be there always in the back of our minds but we'll at this point in time it's just the it's a new thing that's been popularized so it'll be the center of focus eventually it will die down it'll be an afterthought but it'll still be there on the very rare occasion we'll see a new battle royale game has come out but um thank you guys everybody for uh uh joining for today's podcast if you guys like what you see make sure you comment down below saying you want to see more of these um this is definitely not going to be like a weekly thing because yet again we got to get all of us together 
So I'll probably at, at best I'm gonna say once a month at best, and even then we might have to wait. Shit, the last one we had was two years ago. So good luck. You it it could be two one. years. I say we could do it probably more than once a month. The problem is if we would want to do it more but than once. The problem a month. is the, there's a lot of scheduling and there's a lot of shit I'm working on. Uh, I'm trying to edit for another YouTube channel and all this other happy shit. So uh, and then work, I'll be eventually getting a job. If, if future me, if you got the job, congratulations. So um, anyway, anyways uh, though, yeah. Well, make, make sure, sure you, you guys, like the, make sure you like the channel. Good like conversation. The channel. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. Uh, Bye. Peace.